Little Red Hen had a bit back a wheat. Who will help me plant this wheat? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the mouse. Not I, said the duck. Who will help me get some water? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the mouse. Not I, said the duck. This is a big job. Who will help me? Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the mouse. Not I, said the duck. I will mix a mix who will help me. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the mouse. Not I, said the duck. Look at this bread. It looks delicious. Does anybody want to help me eat it? Me, me, me. I do it. Me too. What about me? I will eat some too. Me too. Actually, this is a job for me. Y ahora todos a mover el pollo. What is he? We're talking in the water. You saw a girl. I am not. I just take my time. I bet I can be you in the in the race. You will not. I will so. Here in Tortoise, they decide to have a race. They went to the field and saw a fox. Hey fox, will you help us? Yes. I will be happy to. Who do you think who wins? Ready, set, go! I <laughs> you Hare and Tortoise started the race. Hare started with a great pace. She will not catch up. I like to clean up. Hare fell asleep in the grass. Hare woke up and found that the tortoise had passed up. I can only one one! Hare and tortoise continue to be friends. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats gruff. There was big billy goat gruff, medium sized billy goat gruff, ah. and little billy goat gruff. Uh, I'll give you the gruff. It's the best. Delicious. Oh. Unfortunately, they were running out of grass. Ah. Okay. Let's go there. No little billy. There's a monster over there. It does it. Let everybody crash this bridge. How do we make a plan? So the three Billy Goats Gruff put their heads together and came up with a plan. But they needed some help from some furry friends. Who dares to cross this bridge? It's I, little Billy Goat Gruff. Then I, I am going to eat you up. Please don't eat me. My bird is bigger than me. Taste All right, but you better not be lying. Okay, I'm not lying. Ah! Who's there to cross my bridge? It is I, Billy Size, Billy Goat Gruff. Then I come to eat you up. Please not eat me. I have a bird and he's more bigger than me. All right, but you better not be lying. Ah! ah! Who's there to cross my bridge? It is a <laughs> big belly grub grub. Then I'm going to eat you up. You don't want to eat me. 
There are two more coming and they're much bigger than me. Ah! You have to be lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. Once upon a time, there were three bears. I'm Papa Bear. I'm Mama Bear. I'm Baby Bear. The three bears loved to eat porridge. I made up porridge. But the porridge was too hot to eat now. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> a little girl named Goldilocks was walking to her. What a lovely cottage. Goldilocks went inside the three bears cottage and found their porridge on the kitchen table. That smells so good. Ah, it's so hot. <laughs> so cold. Okay. Mm, this this just perfect. Go to look at all the porridge. Uh, I'm full. I'm gonna take the rest. Goldilocks sat on Papa Bear's chair. This is too hard. Goldilocks sat on Mama Bear's chair. This is too soft. Goldilocks sat on Baby Bear's chair. This is just right. <laughs> but that chair broke. Ouch. Oops. That chair's broken. Goldilocks decided to go upstairs for sleep. Goldilocks tried Daddy Bear's bed. This is too hard. Goldilocks tried mom Mommy Bear's bed. This is too soft. Goldilocks tried Baby Bear's bed and <coughs> fell asleep. This is just right. <laughs> Someone was eating my porridge. Someone was eating my porridge. Someone was eating my porridge and I was gone. Someone was sitting in my chair. Someone was sitting in my chair. Someone was sitting in my chair. And I was broke. Someone been sleeping in my bed. Someone was sleeping in my bed. Someone is sleeping in my bed and she's still there. Who are you? What are you doing here? Papa Bear and Mama Bear were very angry. Goldilocks woke up and jumped out of bed. <laughs> Goldilocks ran as fast as she could. Oh dear, I don't mean to scare her. Okay. The three bears not, never saw Goldilocks again. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities. Once upon a time, there's three little pigs. One day it was time for them to go into the wall. Look up. Boom, ba, big, wall. The first little pig found some straw. I built a house of six straw. Meanwhile, the second little pig found some six. I built a house with a stick. Meanwhile, the third little pig found some bricks. I built a house and play. The big bad wolf went to the house of straw. He was hungry. Little pig, little pig, let me in. No, but the hair my shiny, shiny, shiny. Then I will puff and puff and blow your house in. The wolf puffed and puffed and blew the house out. The little pig went to his sister's house. Little pig, little pig, let me in. No, my hair shiny, shiny, shiny. Then I will puff and puff and blow your house in. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house out. The two little pigs ran to the old house. The wolf was very hungry. Little pig, little pig, let me in. No, my hair on my chin and chin and chin. And I huff and puff and I blow your house in. Then I will go down the chimney. Please, Please do. do! I have a surprise for you. 
the wolf came down, he landed on the pot. Ow, ow, ow! The big ball world will never bother us again. Había una vez una niña que se llamaba Caperudita Roja porque siempre llevaba una capucha de color rojo. Un día su madre le pidió que llevara pan a su abuelita que estaba enferma. Por el camino se encontró con el lobo. ¿A dónde vas, No puedo hablar. Ahorita voy a, mi, a la casa de mi abuela. Tengo prisa. Ve por este camino, es más corto. El lobo corrió hacia la casa de la abuelita una vez ahí. Encerró a la abuelita en el armario y se metió en la casa. Cuando Caperosita llegó, encontró a su abuelita muy cambiada. Abuelita, ¿por qué te ves diferente? Porque está muy enferma. Abuelita, ¿qué orejas tan grandes tienes? Son para oírte mejor. ¿Qué ojos tan grandes tienes? Es para verte mejor. Abuelita, ¿qué bocas tan grandes tienes? Son para comerte mejor. De repente, un cazador oyó los gritos de Caperucita Roja y entró en la casa y echó al lobo. El lobo se fue corriendo con el rabo entre las piernas. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Jack. He lived with his father in a tiny cottage. They were very poor. They, all they had was a cow named Milky, Milky White. Jack will not have food. You must take Milky White and take him. Then use money to buy food. Jack did not want to get rid of Milky White, but knew he had no choice on the way to the market, he met a man. Hello, little boy. Where are you going with those two cows? I am taking them to sell them for my father. Let me save you the trouble. I have magic beans that would trade up for those cows. Did you say magic beans? I sure did. Plant these beans tonight. In the morning, a beanstalk would reach the clouds. Jack wasn't sure what to do, but he quickly made the trade and ran home to tell his father. Father, father, look what I got! Oh, Jack, what are those beans? They may look like beans, but they're magic. Jack's father tossed the beans out the window. All through the night, the beans grew and grew. By morning, a tall beanstalk reached the clouds. Look, father, the men were right. Beans are magic. We want to see what's at the bottom. Oh, Jack. Jack climbed and climbed until he finally reached the top of the beanstalk. He could see a huge castle. I wonder who lives in that castle. Maybe they'll be kind enough to share some food. Jack walked up to the castle and knocked on the door. In a few moments, a gigantic woman came to the door. And who are you? My name is Jack and I'm so hungry. Do you have some food to share? You will be food if my husband sees you. Quick, hide inside. I see him coming. Hide in the oven and don't make a sound. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of the English fan. Be he alive, be he dead. I will grind his bones to make my bread. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an English fan. Be he alive or be he dead. I will grind his bones to make my bread. Oh, don't be silly, dear. All you smell is the yummy breakfast I have been cooking. Now eat your food before it gets cold. After breakfast, the giant decided to count his gold. Soon he got very sleepy. He fell asleep and began to snore. Jack quietly climbed in onto the table and grabbed the bag of gold right from under the giant's nose. Then he climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could straight to his father who was waiting below. Father, look at all this gold. 
We can buy all the food we want. I'll climb the Venus Talk again tomorrow. Over the next few days, Jack returned to the castle two more times. On the second trip, he grabbed a hen that laid golden eggs. On the third trip, he got a beautiful singing harp. It's almost right. Let's try to take it. Quick, it's the little boy I told you about. Stop, thief! You're taking my golden and wonderful egg! You will not take my singing harp. Jack ran down the beanstalk as fast as he could. <laughs> Quick, Jack. The giant is right behind you. Father, bring me the axe. We have to chop down the beanstalk before the giant reaches the bottom. The two of them chopped as fast as they could. Down came the beanstalk and down came the giant. Jack and Jack, his, fa his father, the hen, and the heart lived happily ever after. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady and a little old man who lived alone. One day, they decided to bake a gingerbread man. They shaved it into a man and popped him in the oven. It smells great here. I can't wait to eat him. All of a sudden, the door opened and the gingerbread man ran out. The gingerbread man ran out the door and down the road. Run on as fast as you can. You're catching on the gingerbread man. Hungry, come over, gingerbread man. Lady, I'm far away from old lady, not old man. I'm far away from you too. Run, run, back to the catch me under gingerbread man. I'm so hungry, this cookie looks delicious. I'm, I'm run away from the cow, a little old lady, and a little old man. You run away from you too. Run as fast as you can. You catch me on the street, bread man. Mmm. You look delicious. That's here, cookie boy. I'm running away from my sheep, cow, little old lady, my little old man. I'm gonna run away from you too. Run as fast as you can. You catch me on the street, bread man. Let's go to my Run away from a pig and a sheep and a cow, little old lady and an old man. I'm from with you too. Run, run, back to the bed. Uh oh, there's a river. Why, hello, do you need help? Yes, please. Okay, fine. Climb in my back, I will take you, you across. Wow, it's getting higher and higher. <laughs> 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 oh, I <love> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a sweet and kinded heart princess named Snow White. Her mother died when she was 
born and her mother soon married another woman. No one knew stepmother was very beautiful, but also very wicked. And she hated her pretty stepdaughter, Snow White, because everyone else in the kingdom loved her so much. Why everybody likes her? She's not beautiful like me. I hate her. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Every day the, the mirror answered, Your beauty stunts me. I swear it's true. The fairest yeah. in all the land is you. And so the queen was satisfied. But one day the mirror's answer changed. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You, my queen, have that beauty where but Snow White is twice as fair. No, I'm going to ask one more time. But the mirror's answer did not change, and the queen was very angry. Something must be done. Huntsman! Yes, your majesty? You have to find Snow White and end her. Yes, your majesty. The next day, the huntsman took Snow White deep into the forest. When they were far from anyone who could help, he took out a knife. Snow White began to weep. Oh, please don't hurt me! I'm sorry, princess, but it's the queen's orders. But why? I've never done anything to her. She is jealous of your beauty, Snow White. Then the huntsman made a decision. Then you must run far away. Oh, thank you for letting me go. Snow White soon came upon a small cottage. It was empty, but there were seven small beds inside. Snow White waited to see if anyone would return. She was so tired, she fell asleep. When she woke up, she found seven dwarfs surrounding her. Oh, is this your house? I'm sorry I came in without asking. I just wanted to take a rest. Who are you? Where, where do you come from? Why are you here? I'm Snow White. My stepmother wants to kill me. I ran away and I was so tired, I needed a place to rest. What a horrible queen! Oh heavens, you can stay with us, Snow White. Yes, please stay with us. You'll be safe here. Mirror, mirror, I know all. Who is the fairest of the most? My queen. Your beauty is rare, that's true. But Snow White is twice as beautiful as you. What? The huntsman betrayed me! The queen was furious. She demanded that the mirror show her Snow White. It revealed the small cottage in the woods and the dwarfs. If you want something right, you have to do it yourself. Snow White is going to pay. Good morning, beautiful girl. Are you want to share my apple? It looks delicious, but no, I can't. Someone is trying to hurt me, so I shouldn't be talking to strangers. Do I to be a conscious where we share an apple? If I'm eating it, it's, it's, you know it's safe. What Snow White didn't yeah. know was that the queen had poisoned only half of the apple. That should be all right. Thank you, kind lady. When Snow White took a bite, she fell down as if dead. <laughs> I can't wake her. The queen has finally killed Snow White. The dwarves were so sad. They put Snow White in a glass coffin because she was so beautiful and stayed that way even in death. They visited her each day with flowers. One day a prince rode by and saw the strange scene. What a beautiful girl. Why is she in this coffin? Does she need help? Her name is Snow White. She was poisoned by an evil queen. We don't know if she's dead, but we can't wake her up. My doctors are the best in the kingdom. Let's seek her down to get some help. The prince and the dwarves moved the coffin in a cart. They arrived in an old looking shop. It didn't look like a clinic. This does not look like a clinic at all. I think these princes are creep. They entered the clinic and see someone who looked like anything but a doctor. <coughs> What's going on? We tried everything, but we can't wake her up. We gave her Tylenol, we gave her aspirin. Apparently, you can help. 
Estos doctores no saben nada. Vaporú. Cuando los remedios de los doctores no funcionan, Vaporú cura todas las enfermedades de los hispanos, como frutas y verduras. Que es la vida que yo nunca comprendía Esos dichos que mi abuelo me decía Pero pasar el tiempo poco a poco Fui entendiendo sus palabras llenas de sabiduría